Well, it's fantastic to be out here at James Brown Oval at Woi Woi. We've been uh, playing a bit of soccer with the boys and girls that you see behind us. And this is a fantastic announcement that we have here today with Senator Bridget McKenzie, the Federal Minister for Sport, and our incredible hardworking representatives of the Southern Edelong United Football Club to make sure that this club and indeed all of the Peninsula community have access to the very best possible facilities and infrastructure and ovals for their uh, sport and their recreation and their leisure. Bridget, what is this announcement and what's it going to mean? Well, Lucy, thank you so much for your advocacy for the Southern and Etalong United Football Club here in Woi Woi. It's my very great honour to be able to announce nearly $120,000 for the club to be able to resurface some of their playing areas so that they can increase access for the young men and the young women that want to come along and play soccer locally. As a government, we want to see more Australians getting more active more often because we know it's good for your physical health, your mental health, but it also keeps families and communities together the more we can get people out and getting active. So, Kylie and Glenn, it's great to be here with you um, and I know you're going to do a great job with that money and have a great season as a result. What's it going to mean for your local club? Oh look, it means a massive amount. Uh, we're a, a community club in a very much growing area and uh, look, we really can't really get by without, you know, we get some local community sports through parents but without the federal government and Lucy's input. Um, it's infrastructure that's needed everywhere, so um, it just creates a better environment for our kids. It allows our club to grow that little bit, which there's a lot of pressure on that, and uh, it's just critical for us to continue on and getting all their kids out there and get them off the PlayStation and get them running around, <laughs> yeah, the, exactly. around the sports fields. And, and with their parents as well, very much a family club, and thank you very much for what you guys have provided. I don't think sometimes government realise the import when they dedicate these funds to what impact it has on our families. So thank you very much. A lot less sausage sizzle yeah, fundraising. But right. Kylie, the girls did really well uh, in their first season last year. Uh, we've also had seen a 65% increase in the young women coming along to the local club. What difference will this make to particularly the women's teams? Oh, look, it's huge. Our women's program is growing um, every year. We're focusing on our junior women this year because they'll be our future stars. Um, the women's uh, SWL team did remarkably well in their first year, yeah. I might add. So that, third? Uh, no, this, yeah, third. Yeah. Third in, in their first year in competition. So it is growing. We're focusing a lot on that. Uh, as you said, the, the women playing in, in football, soccer, is growing quite a lot. So it means a lot. It's, um, it's going to be really well spent. Thanks, Matildas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matildas are the future. Look, this is absolutely fantastic. Bridget, thanks for backing the Central Coast. Thanks for backing our amazing community here on the peninsula and to the incredible Southern and Long United Football Club. You guys keep fighting for this incredible community and building our new Aussie future superstars. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you.